U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo met with the Prime Minister Narendra Modi earlier this morning. He will now be holding talks with Foreign Minister S. Jai Shankar. Terrorism, the H-1B visas, trade, India's arms deal with Russia and the situation rising out of the U.S. sanctions on buying oil from Iran will be among the key issues that are expected to be discussed today. Mr. Pompeo's visit is the first high-level visit from any country after uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's victory in the recent national elections. Well, let's go across uh, to Nidhi Razdan uh, for more uh, on the talks. And Nidhi, the U.S. wants India to cancel the purchase of missile defense system from Russia, but India is determined to stand firm. Well, yes, that is one of the contentious issues uh, when, uh, you know, the, the two foreign ministers meet today. What diplomatic sources are essentially telling us is that this is really a getting-to-know-each-other kind of a meeting because Mr. Pompeo has not met Dr. Jay Shankar before. Uh, this is his first meeting with the new Modi government since it got re-elected. So, in a sense, uh, this gives the two foreign ministers an opportunity to restart uh, the relationship, which has kind of hit uh, a rut in the last few months with all these differences not only just uh, about this missile deal, but over trade, over Iran. And, uh, you know, uh, there are no miracles or agreements or, uh, you know, big ticket announcements expected. But certainly uh, one can expect that the two will be able to sort of give a fresh momentum to the relationship. So uh, Indian officials are going to make it clear uh, to the Americans once again uh, that they're not going to give up this defense relationship with Russia, that it is a long-standing one that cannot be wished away, and that this was a deal that was, you know, in the pipeline for the last 10 years. It's more than worth more than $5 billion. It was signed by India and Russia last year. And India is determined to go ahead and point out that U.S. laws do allow for a sanctions waiver for India. Uh, secondly, there is the issue of the Iran-U.S. Uh, tension, which is at its peak. India has already stopped ex uh, importing oil from Iran. It wants the U.S., though, uh, to make it uh, clear what kind of alternatives India can access uh, if it can't uh, import oil from Iran. Uh, and the third contentious issue is trade, uh, where we've seen these retaliatory tra uh, tariffs by India after trade concessions by the Trump administration were ended uh, in, in June, uh, in early June. Uh, now, this is something that will be worked out in far more detail by the Ministry of Commerce. Uh, but certainly politically, a discussion will be held on all of these issues.